Welcome back ladies and gents, this is your favorite first generation lord, this is Apollo Creed, here with part 4 of the Rosencruz to let play through a spirit tier, done with the original 8 bosses, but now back to take on Michael Separin stage, who totally doesn't look like Count Dracula, in a castle that totally doesn't seem reminiscent of Castlevania. Doing his first stage with totally doesn't seem reminiscent of Wally Stage 1 for Mega Man 2. Surely all these things, all these references are mere coincidences. Either that or this game's totally in denial. Anyway, this stage overall is really simple and short. All you, if you pretty much know all the references to Mega Man to Mega Man games, you pretty much knows which items to use, cause this is another one of those items the stage. So dealing skipping the whole Cossack stage one reference right here. We're about to deal with a boss that really is annoying. Especially if you don't use the special weapon in Spiritia's case. The cross wall is totally not reminiscent of the Mega Dragon. But it also has a surge's effect with its energy balls. A at the same time it shoots crosses that home in on you. If you don't use Tauri's weapon, you're pretty much in for a very tedious fight as you gonna be dodging from platform to platform while dodging all these projectiles and it can get really hectic and annoying and the chances of falling down to your doom is pretty much all but certain if you're not aware or quick enough to dodge anything if you're good you can tank hits and stand on the bottom platform and shoot the whirlpools at the crosswalls weak point. Anyway, that stage said and done. Separate stage 2 with an area that reminds me of Wally 2 from Mega Man 4. Ah, uh, the references are so, so wonderful. This stage looks nice though. Anyway, keeping going, the place is starting to get a tad bit more of it. Look at all the blood! We even get a blood pool! How lovely! I get an Akrizer reference in total to name with a Castlevania Bloodlines reference! Those who probably played the game will probably already know. I wouldn't know. Honestly. Oh! I keep forgetting. The statue done shed a bloody tear! <laughs> Comedy. Seriously, more references. Wally, Mega Man 2, Wally 2. Very obvious, and I have to use this vi to get across the row of spikes. And if you take the upper route, use the bombs. Anyway, another decently short stage where the references still just won't end. The Poltergeist! Yes, it is a Poltergeist, I have looked up the names. Anyway, kinda reminiscent of the Mega Man 2 Wally Stage 2 boss. Every time the glass shatters, it will cause damage, so try to stand in a place where the glass will not shatter where you're standing. Otherwise, you will take a good chunk of damage every time you get hit by it. It continues to move faster with each stained glass piece used to shield weapons to destroy them all and keep on your toes and it's done. Now for stage 3 which is personally for me deceptively hard. For one reason and one reason only, the jumps in this stage are probably to me one of the scariest in the game. You will see what I'm talking about in a little bit. 
I'm usually better in this stage, but even then, this stage scares me with the amount of white knuckle jumps you gotta do. See that very first jump? It pretty much tells you what you're gonna be dealing with. You're pretty much gonna be right on the edge to make these jumps. One miscalculation in where you jump, or how high you jump, you will fall. You won't believe how many times I screwed up this stage just by messing up timing. If you're if you're unsure in certain areas, use an item one. But if you're me, you might as well man it up and just take it, take it like a man. And I use the leave a string way too early. Can anyone say that I am lucky as hell? If, if normally I would have died twice over. Well, anyway, hello, death. Or death wannabe with all the sickles that pretty much go with the side. <clears throat> Raymond Safar, Rolla's grandfather and former master. The first half, found. In my first half, use Rolla's weapon. Second half, either use your normal weapon or Lily if you if you feel like it. Avoid the suction from him pulling you in, and the sword he drops from the sky. And try to get into a loop that I'm trying to do right now. I usually don't get to apply this very much. I usually very sloppy in this fight. But I guess the end will justify the means as Raymond is dead. So that's it. Part 4 done. Part 5 next. I'll see you next time. Over and out.